I've seen many embellishments on an English bracket clock, but never red cord before. Tell me about that. Well, it's always been on there. Um, I, I, I didn't really think twice about it. Well, believe me, it didn't start life like that, and I just want to show you how much better it would look just by hauling a little bit of that Good out. Gracious. And you'll then suddenly see that actually That's you can see rather better, better without the red. Much yeah. better. Yeah. So we'll just pop that back, and I will tell you that it's by a man called uh, Thomas Hill, Fleet Street, London. Yes. He moved oh. to Fleet Street in 1762 and died 20 years later. Right. And so I would date the thing around the, the 1770s. Yeah. It is a lovely English striking bracket clock. I like oh. it very much. Oh, it does also chime on the quarters. Really? Well, it shouldn't. It's two train, striking and going. Oh, I see what you mean, yes. Um, let's just lock up the, the pendulum and have a little look. This is the sort of thing that the Victorians loved doing. You always remember it like that or not? Uh, no, uh, when I, I inherited this from my father, who had it from his great aunt. So it's been in the family for quite a long time, but when I received it, it had a large contraption on here. Because it wasn't working, I took it along to the uh, clockmaker and he, uh, he mended it, but he said they'd done a lot of um, harm by putting this they, they, contraption they on. They have. The barrel has been repositioned from there where you can see that strange hole to down there, and you can see the barrel hanging out underneath. Right. And they have bolted on yes. this quarter chiming bit, which winds from the back. What an extraordinary really? situation. Yeah. But the joy is they haven't messed with the dial. There's really only one thing to do with this, mm -hmm. and that is commercially to remove all the Victorian horrid quarter striking work, and the rest of it could be repositioned and it would be back to a lovely. George III striking racket top. I love it. The size is gorgeous. What a shame it's been got to. Yes. yes. Got out, I should yes. say. Indeed. Now, it's quite a difficult one to value. Is it? Mm. Mm. Any thoughts? Not really. Between five and ten thousand. That's a wide range. It is a Who wide put range. That figure into your head. It's the fella that mended the clock. Uh, well, clearly he didn't know either. <laughs> uh, I will try and give you a, a slightly more. To the, to the point, point. valuation. Mm. Without the quarter striking work, mm. it's six to eight thousand pounds at auction. Right. To take all that out to redo it isn't the end of the world. It can be done. Mm. And when it's done, it's the sort of thing that at a good antiques fair and a specialist shop would be making ten, eleven thousand pounds. Right. Gosh. Yeah. So maybe his estimate of five to ten wasn't way out, was no. it? No. no. Excellent. Thank you very much. So seriously really consider having the work done.